Well, I think my first observation is that the Battle of Plataea could have gone a number of different ways. <laughs> and the manner in which I chose to play this out was to actually beat a hasty uh, retreat for the Spartan forces here and for the Greeks over on the, uh, the Athenians over on the left uh, flank. <clears throat> and then also move the dudes that were that had gotten lost during the night uh, here, these guys, uh, and move them over here. And so what I've done is retreated back so they're both going to be behind a river line and have the forces basically consolidated with uh, very little opportunity for any sort of flanking maneuvers uh, or, or so thereabouts. Um, what that has meant is a, now on the eighth turn of the game, and we still really haven't had any meaningful combat. Uh, a couple of skirmishes have died. One light cavalry unit was beaten up by some uh, uh, skirmisher fire and routed off the board. And so we're trying to close. Now we do have a mildly interesting situation down here where a handful of cavalry in the eighth turn has now made it into the rough and is trying to get across and around here to uh, try and pick up some route points and uh, grab the wagons. And I had forgotten about them and, uh, as the, as the uh, uh, Athenian or the Greek player really had meant to be moving them, but every time the momentum chip came up, I took an opportunity to roll for it to try and get these Spartans uh, flipped over or maneuvered or an extra move or to uh, recover cohesion hits. That became a more pressing priority as, uh, as the various uh, Persian forces advanced. So, uh, there's the current situation. It's uh, taking a long time to get into the battle, primarily because I chose not to stand and fight, but to uh, retreat and consolidate my forces. Uh, probably a smart move all in all, uh, but uh, it's certainly making the game uh, take a lot longer to get started, uh, the actual meat of it uh, uh, to commence. All right, we'll talk to you soon.